So not too long ago, Roja Parfum came out with Apex, and this is the original concentration. Now in the year 2022, towards the tail end of 2022, we have Apex, by, but the Parfum concentration. So one thing that we know from Parfum concentrations in general, they're deeper, they're richer, they're warmer, and presumably they're longer lasting. Is that gonna be the case with the brand new Apex Parfum by Roja Dove? I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this brand new fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I tell you all about Apex Parfum by Roja Parfum, the perfumer is Roja Dove of course, I do want to start things off by saying that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel, and of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. So now the challenge therein lies in the fact that I'm going to try to review this fragrance independently without making it too much of a comparison video. Apex is an amazing fragrance. I love wearing it, that dark green earthy tonality, the resins, the tobacco, the rum, the spicy kick that's lingering in the base, but it's also a little fruity, a little citrusy, a little floral. It has a very diverse personality of notes, and this seems to have a very similar, if not identical, note breakdown, but of course, with the parfum designation, the expectation is that it's going to last longer, it's gonna be deeper, richer, and I actually do find that a lot of the ingredients in here have been brought to the fore, so a lot of the ingredients have become a bit more noticeable, if we can put it like that, and a lot of the other ingredients have receded to the background. And so if there was a certain element about the original Apex that you really, really enjoyed, and it's been concentrated a bit more strongly in this fragrance, I think now this would probably end up being your preference. But again, I am not intending for this to be a comparison video. If you would like for me to indeed do a comparison video, leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to entertain that, but I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. So the first thing that I can say about this fragrance once you spray it on is it packs a punch. It is very strong and I think this is one that lives up to the Parfum name. When we see this happening on the designer side of things, a lot of it is fraudulent, dare I say. There are a lot of fragrances that claim to be Parfum fragrances, but at the end of the day, they're not any stronger than their Eau de Parfum counterparts. I don't wanna say any uh, throughout the course of this review, but there have been some. In the case of this fragrance, it is strong. So initially, I sprayed the box because I didn't have any test strips on me, so I sprayed it inside the box, and this was like a week and a half ago. Every time I open the box now, I am hit with this explosive aroma that kind of makes me feel like I just sprayed it when I know that that's not the case. It's a very strong fragrance. This one is no slouch in the performance department. So if that has ever been a concern, which it shouldn't be because I personally have never encountered a fleeting Roja Parfum fragrance, you can wipe that out of mind. Definitely not something to worry about. The longevity on this one is incredible. But let's talk about the smell because for a lot of people, the smell is a bit more important than the uh, performance. This fragrance opens up very juicy, fruity, and green at the same time. <laughs> when you look at the note breakdown, there's lemon, there's bergamot, there's orange, there's pineapple. For me, I got this really juicy pineapple note in the opening. And as soon as I smelled that, I said, wait a second. There's something different from the original Apex. The original Apex, that fragrance was rather green. So you have the cypress, you have the oak moss, the fir balsam, the juniper, which is a bit astringent as well. And then with this fragrance, it actually opens up very juicy and fruity. So you have the juiciness of the pineapple, but it's being supported very, very, very closely by those green elements. So the green elements are kind of lingering in the background, but they are just as noticeable as 
the pineapple. So it opens up very citrusy, very fresh and diverse with that juicy fruity tartness. And in terms of the floral ingredients, I think there's jasmine in here. Although this one really doesn't convey a floral tone as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it's doing something in there, but there's so much more of everything else that I'm kind of distracted, right? So you have the pineapple in the opening. In the dry down, you have so many dark notes. And I've seen people online make comparisons to Italian Cypress by Tom Ford, part of the private blend line. And I do think that a lot of those comparisons are warranted. Of course, this is a very different fragrance when you put them side by side. But I do think that in terms of the strongest green personality of this fragrance, it is the Cypress. So I think the Cypress is really leading the march. And I think behind that, you do have some of the other darker green elements, the fur balsam, actually the oak moss. <laughs> if I were to create a hierarchy, I would definitely put the oak moss in second place, the fir balsam in third place, then maybe the patchouli and then the juniper, right? Because juniper has a smell that I'm not totally a fan of and I'm not getting it as strongly in here as I am some of the other green notes. So definitely keep that in mind. The cypress is all the way at the very top, followed closely by those other green notes that I mentioned. Now, in terms of some of the warmer notes in here, there's LME resin, there's benzoin. So it does have this dry amber warm. This is not a sweet fragrance by any stretch of the imagination, with the exception of that femoral sweetness that is a byproduct of the pineapple. Now, as it continues to dry down, you do have a spicy tendency, the tobacco, and of course the spices are coming from that rum accord that's in here. This has potency, it has strength, it has virility, it has charisma, it has grandeur, it has opulence, it has a lot of the things that people look for in a fragrance. And I think if you are a fan of fragrances like Sauvage Elixir by Christian Dior, or even believe it or not, Dracar Noir by Guy La Roche, but you want to see something put together in a very profoundly different way, very masculine, elegant, refined, poised, um, urbane, beautifully done, you have to try Apex Parfum. So now, if I can make a little comparison, right? Cause I can't go the entire review without making a, a single comparison to its predecessor. If you want something that's longer lasting, you have to go with the Parfum version. If you want something that's a little bit more diffusive, you have to go with the original Apex. However, I'm gonna dedicate my more in detailed analysis for a future video if you so desire for me to make such a video. But those were my thoughts on the brand new Apex Parfum a plus fragrance, amazing release from the brand. Didn't expect anything less. And I look forward to reviewing another one that I purchased. I actually spent a thousand dollars for this one. <laughs> I spend a lot of money on Roja fragrances. I bought Manhattan when it first came out. I think I'm number 52 out of a hundred or something. I have to revisit that. But here we have uh, semi bespoke and this is what number 26. So I think there were only 50 made in the world. So I look forward to reviewing this one very soon. Again, I have given this brand so much of my money. I, I'm a huge fan of the brand. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this fragrance is certainly unique. However, it is a true flanker in the sense that it does smell similar to Apex, but the quality of the raw materials is really what sets this apart from many other, or I should say most other niche fragrances on the market. Longevity on this fragrance, 10 plus hours easily. Projection way beyond an arm's length for the first hour and a half to two hours of application. It will create an enormous scent cloud around you. I do find that Apex is probably going to be louder in a shorter period of time and then it kind of disintegrates for lack of a better word. This fragrance opens up quite loud and then it tapers off very slowly before it becomes an elbows length scent right around hour seven, seven and a half and then it sits a bit closer to the skin right around hour 10. But this is a fragrance you gotta wash your hands several times to really get it off. It's a very strong fragrance, very highly concentrated. In terms of the versatility, I think a lot of people would argue that this one is traditionally masculine and I can't disagree with them. I think this one will probably appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, a little bit more mature, and a little bit more experienced when it comes to niche fragrances. This one screams formal occasions and this one would work beautifully in the colder weather. Actually every season except for the summer. In terms of the presentation, you saw the intricacies of the box and I do like the black hardware. I just wish 
The green were a little bit more visible, but if you put a light source behind it, you can see that brilliant verdant hue coming to life. My final verdict on this fragrance is it is one of the best releases of 2022 no doubt. I think anybody who has the opportunity to try it will quickly fall in love with it. It's a special composition and one that I think I will start to wear heavily in place of the original concentration. So I'm a fan of Apex Parfum. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was my review. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and also click where it says enable all notifications so you never miss any of these daily fragrance video that I upload to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.